going on guys? Um, we'll be using, I don't know if you can see it, that little black, <laughs> it's a black bowl so it's hard to see, but that there's like a little, looks like melted plastic. What that is, actually is part of the PAA cube that I cut, you can see. I actually cut two chunks, I did a test lather earlier. Um, but I'm actually gonna shave with the other chunk that I cut out. So, we're lathering with our Maggard 26 mil. Chris Bailey's actually the one that told me um, this lathers very well. <clears throat> I shaved with it before, uh, just with the cube, and it worked perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. We're a little dry in our bowl here. Um, but yeah, I like, like I said in that, in that video, you know, I like to be able to see the lather whenever I'm shaving and whenever you're just rubbing it on your face, you really can't see. So this will help with that. Uh, I'll be using Razor Rocks Tuscan Oud for the aftershave and the Assured $1 razor. Um, this video is kind of like filmed between my last video, um, and I had just uploaded that tonight, so I didn't want to, um, I could smell the menthol in this. <laughs> we have a really heavy load too. But I, I didn't want to upload, I didn't want to, uh, I had a shave tonight, I have, I have a meeting tomorrow, but I didn't want to, there's only two votes right now for grapefruit, um, and I didn't want to shoot that video and then, you know, by tomorrow get more votes with one of the other cello or whatever the other scent was. So we'll go with that. I'm gonna wet the face real quick. So anyways, I don't know if this video will be uploaded or not, truthfully. As you see, I did get the mop cut. So that's good. Oh, nice lather. She did like chop my sideburns, which was unfortunate, right? Like, definitely not what I I like. So I'll have to uh, remember that next time I go to her. But other than that, I think she did an okay job. Just the sideburns are way too damn high. <clears throat> well, one side was very high. The other side, not so much. But I had to, I had to equal out. Because <laughs> one side was kind of high, one side was low, and... I was like, well, um, I actually didn't see it or notice it whenever I uh, whenever I left the shop, but I noticed it after. So, yeah, not a big, big deal. My hair grows really quick, and um, I don't know. Like to me, it looks bad, but if if you didn't see me every day, and and, and the people that I'm seeing tomorrow for this meeting don't really know what I look like, so. <laughs> So when they see that, they might say, oh, that guy has goofy sideburns, but they'll be like, well, maybe he always is like that, as opposed to my boss, which is probably like, what the hell? The goatee is really coming in pretty thick. It's getting to that, um, it's about two weeks now, right? Maybe slightly over two weeks getting to that like kind of uh, a bit itchy stage so Pretty sure I just nicked my Adam's apple. This will be a pretty quick shave, I believe, because I don't know. DEs, you just zip right through it, right? This is a brand new blade. It's like a generic blade. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. Actually, when I first started making YouTube videos, yeah, Nick the Adams up. When I first started making YouTube videos, I actually had uh, a company 
Um, wet Shaving Club or Dollar Sh No, do Dollar Shave Club is something different. That's carts. But this was an actual, um, you know, DE company. And um, they sent me a uh, hundred... No, it was 300 blades. I don't know. It was like a year's worth of blades and uh, a razor. And I reviewed it and whatnot. It's one of the earlier videos. It's these uh, these razors here. Or these uh, yes, blades. All these. Uh, that's, only, that's only about half of them. I couldn't grab all of them, but that's the... Just generic. Each of those have uh, ten razors in them, and like I said, there's I think thirty packs of those, so three hundred. They work okay. They're not. Um, I wouldn't say that they're super smooth blades, but uh, for just like a one one and done type blade, they're they're okay. For what I have, I've used them on some pretty heavy growth, and I've used them on light growth, like I've had today, and you know they work. No complaints. I uh, hope everyone's been doing okay. I say it every time I use this uh, PAA cube, but I'm not kidding when I say it is truthfully very, very mentholated. I mean, and it says it in the description wherever you buy it. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I've just never experienced this this amount of menthol, so to me, it's it's a lot, but um, it's it's bearable. And if you're a, a menthol head, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's right up your alley. But really, it's, it is a lot. No joke. I remember when I first started uh, wet shaving and purchased Paraso on the little green tub. Um, you know, that's eucalyptus and menthol. And uh, I remember thinking, wow, that's... Because, you know, I had just used, like, Barbasol. Like, there was no menthol, no mentholated stuff that I had ever used before. Uh, this right here. It's actually one, one of the first two or three that I purchased. Um... And so I thought, I used to think at least that that was like, you know, heavy menthol, but no. Actually, I have Chisel Face Crematorium's Cryogen as well. That's, that's heavily mentholated. Probably, I would honestly say probably about the same as this. So if you have Cryogen, um, from, from what I remember at least, I haven't used Cryogen in quite some time, but um, I think Cryogen is roughly the same as, as what this is quite a bit. Uh, I know that uh, I purchased Cryogen and then I think uh, Terror, T-E-R-R-O-R, -R -R, Terror, came out from Barrister and Man. And that was supposed to be like a whole lot of menthol in that. And then I think after that, PAA released, I don't know how I got off on the rant of, oh, because of the, yeah. Um, PAA released like menthol crystals or something. And it's basically in like a salt or pepper grinder. Kind of the same thing. And um, you uh, you like grind it up and you can make uh, any, <clears throat> any menthol, any soap into a menthol soap. So, kind of cool.
I really do enjoy the menthol uh, soaks during the summertime, especially after being outside working in the yard or mowing the lawn or whatever. Um, Yeah, these blades are not the smoothest, like I said, but they work and they're cheap. Well, they were free, but. I should be getting my and residual slickness is okay. Not great. Again, we're talking about appreciative cube. We're not talking about something that they advertise as a soap. I'm just I'm just testing it basically. I knew it would lather okay because I did my lather test. Um, but as far as the shave, I wasn't sure how it's gonna work, but it's working perfectly fine. Uh, I'm assuming the post is not going to be anything to write home about because it's just a pre-shave cube, but we'll see. My face is definitely icy cold. Um, in, the, in the winter time, it's not really something you'd want, but <laughs> that's where we're at. It's not too cold in the house. It's, I think, 44 degrees outside when I checked uh, about an hour ago. So... Not super, super cold outside either. I'm throwing lather everywhere. I need to do my dentor. I keep, I keep forgetting about it. Cause like the routine is get up at six, work all day. Um, get home at like, get home at 5.30 or six. Uh, at that point, I kind of relieve the wife with the baby. I take him for a little while um, until he's until he's. I can actually go against the grain here. That's nice. Until it's time for him to eat again, then I feed him, put him down. So, anyways, I just don't have a whole lot of time to. I guess I could skip a shave and do a dentor one day, which would probably happen. I can feel this razor tugging already. Which isn't a problem. I've already done the against the growth on the cheeks. I'm just catching anything that I didn't have previously. Honestly, the only thing that a DE has over a straight razor for me is exactly what I'm doing now. These like multiple buffering and, and touch-up passes on things that I just can't get with a straight. Because you can't go side, sideways across your neck with a straight razor. Our arms just aren't, <laughs> we don't have that dexterity. We can't bend our arms that way. All right, oh, it's a pretty good shape. Yeah, that one dollar assured razor, man. Like, pfft. it's a dollar. Thank you, Lingua File. Tuscan Ood. 
It's like a dark oud. It's a really nice scent, like a musky, musky oud. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think I'm getting a little tobacco as well. Ooh, let's get another shot of that. Oh, that's real nice. It's hard to beat Razor Rock. Splashes and soaps as far as pricing and quality. Um, don't get me wrong, like, there's better ingredient-wise. There's better ingredient-wise soaps, but the variety that Razor Rock has is nice. Ooh, smelling freaking good. Although I don't think my wife's like, my wife likes this scent, so I may have to uh, be on the couch for a while to air out. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed if I upload this. And uh, I'll see you next shave.